Good morning. I'm out here about to make some kingfish smoked smoked kingfish and I'll be turning some of it into fish dip. I got a big pot. I got brown sugar and salt because we're about to brine it and a lot of kingfish. It's pretty early right now because we're probably going to need all day to do this. There we go. There's your smoker for your, your smoker. It, it looks like fish line, dip. You know? This could be it. Oh shit. I didn't even see him coming. I was just, that was crazy. Woo! Foul hooked in the side. That's a lot of tails sticking out of there. Boom, and we're back. Yeah, that was fun. And let's start the cooking. The first thing that we want to do is create the brine, which basically, um, before we smoke the kingfish, we want to brine it for about six hours. Um, you could even brine it longer than that, but I don't have all day. So I'm going to do one part sugar and one part salt. So in this case, I'm going to do two cups of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, and then three cups of salt. I'm going to mix it all up in here. Sugar. More sugar. Even more sugar. The sea salt. Two more. One more. Alright. Now we want to kind of just mix it all up. There we go. Look at that. For the amount of fish that we have, though, this probably isn't going to be enough, but I'll just make do. So before we start putting all of the brown sugar and fish into that big pot over there, I'm going to be taking the kingfish out and just kind of tapping it dry so it's not totally soaked. Uh, it's a little wet. Not a big deal. Now... Some people leave the skin on when they smoke the kingfish. Last time I made s smoked fish, I left the skin on. It shouldn't make a big difference. All the kingfish is laid out. I'm going to just kind of just gently pat it all down. Just make sure it's not like soaking wet or anything. I like doing this. See, that piece was very wet. A scale. Now that's unacceptable. Another scale. Oh man. Okay. Doing some quality control here too. There's a, there's a fin on there. Yep. The rest of it. It all looks good. Um, I am ready for a swim. But the first thing we're gonna do is in this decently sized pot. I'll kind of layer the bottom of it. I don't have that much of this sugar and salt. A couple handfuls. I'll just. One more little handful, just so the bottom is covered. Let's see, I want to start with the biggest, best looking pieces on the bottom. This piece looks wonderful. Just lay it in there. Cover it up. Actually, before I cover that one up, let me... This piece looks... This piece looks good. I mean, all these pieces look good. cover these guys up and then we will just lay some more on top cover that up Ooh, we're running low on on this salt sugar brine here we're only about halfway done if that I'm going to try to do the best I can here. 
just started raining. There's a big rain cloud above us. <laughs> Fingers crossed I get this done. I, I'm picking up the pace right now. Come on. There's room for one more little piece there in the corner. Top that. Oh, here comes the rain. Come on, Heiko. Full speed. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's raining. Okay. Looking good. Perfect. Okay. Rest of the brine, or rest of the uh, salt and sugar going on top now. I'm going to put a cover on this with, I think, just foil for now. And we'll stick this in the fridge and wait about six hours. I'll take it out and I'll let it dry for about another hour to get it nice and sticky so it catches the, the smoke flavor. There's a scientific word for that. I'm not sure what it is, but basically the protein comes out of the fish. It glazes it, and then when you smoke it, the smoke sticks to that glaze and, get, and then it... The fish kind of captures that nice smoky flavor. So that's what we're going to do now. And the storm, I don't know. It's raining. Look, oh, it's raining hard now. Let's go. It's going to be in there for six hours. And so it begins. Got my brand new char broiled smoker electric smoker this is the box for wood chips and that is the cup for the water and since it's brand new it needs to go through a two-hour seasoning process where basically we're gonna turn it on bring it up to 275 there we go two, ah, there we go and the t cook time, two hours. Are we good? Two hours? All right. So basically what it's gonna do is just get real hot and burn off any uh, residue that might have been left in there from the manufacturer. The fish has been sitting in the brine for almost seven hours now. Let's see what it looks like. Noise, okay. And these are the racks for the smoker. We'll place it on here. All the fish is racked up. I filled three racks of them. And I'm going to wait about an hour, let them get down to room temperature before sticking them in the smoker. And let them kind of sit there a bit. I forget what it's called, but I guess there's going to be like a glaze that comes out of them. Um, proteins or something that the uh, smoke's going to stick to. It's time to start a smoking. I got some room temperature water that I'm going to fill the water catcher with. This is for the wood chips. And I'm going to be using apple wood chips, which is more of a mild flavor compared to like hickory or maple or bourbon or something like that. You don't need to soak these chips. All soaking does is um, makes them take longer to start smoking. So in these electric smokers, you don't need to use a you don't need to soak your chips first. And usually when you're making like something like fish, you use a lighter wood. I think like apple or like cherry wood. Not all the way to the top, but pretty close.
that's gonna slide right in there. Perfect. And that's it. Close it. I'm gonna close it and then turn it on. Temperature we want um, 225. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Yes, 225. And then for time. We're gonna do, I'll say three hours, but there's a good chance they'll be done before that. And that's it. It's gonna start heating up, and once I start to see smoke it coming out of the two sides here, then it'll be time to put the fish in. All right, I actually messed up here. This says max water. I thought that said minimum water, so I obviously put too much water in here. Just pour some of that out. Put that back in there. Well, as you can see, it's been 59 minutes already. And it's still not really smoking. So I guess this kind of takes a while, huh? I'm going to be out here all night. Well, I was reading the manual and it turns out there's a preheat cycle. So what I need to do, hold down the up button until pH appears. pH, there we go. Now, okay, it's gonna go into a 40 minute preheat cycle and that should get the wood chip smoking. Well, just as I put it in the preheat cycle, Smoke started coming out of it, so I guess it's almost ready to go. Time to get fishing. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, I'll close that up. I'll probably check them in about two hours, and then if they're done, they're done, and if not, we'll maybe give them about another half an hour, 45 minutes, and they should be ready to go. Just chilling with some music by the pool. Yeah, it's really smoking now, look at that. Look at that in there. Smoke galore. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been about two hours and it's actually been two hours and six minutes, so it's probably done. Let's open this up and check it out. Hard to do with two hands as always, but I'll figure this out. Ah, it's pretty hot. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely done. It looks perfect. Just a little brown, like crispy, almost burnt, but not burnt. Right around the edges. And then the center is still just all oh, perfect. Oh, it's so perfect. I'm going to turn this off. Beautiful. I put, I filled this whole box up with wood chips, but I read that I only need to fill it up about a quarter or a third of the way if, if you're only smoking for two hours. So I used too many wood chips, but other than that, pretty sweet first test run. My buddy Lee just called me up and he wants to go hunting in a couple of weeks. So hopefully there'll be a hog or a deer in here in the next video. Time to take the first rack on out of here. Gonna let them cool to room temperature and then put them in some Tupperware 
and put them in the fridge and we can eat these for breakfast and make fish dip with them tomorrow. Look how soft and juicy it is. It's all good. Pretty sure there's a tropical depression out there. But that's okay, we're gonna make some fish dip. I don't usually measure these things out. I'm gonna just kind of wing it, but basically sour cream, cream cheese, Mayo, Tabasco, salt and pepper, cilantro. Gonna finely dice these jalapenos. Gonna squeeze a lemon into it. Um, chop some celery into it. And then, the magic. Before putting the greens in, you wanna kinda of make the base, which is gonna consist of the sour cream, cream cheese, and the mayo, and the fish. And once those four ingredients are nicely mashed. Stir the, the greens into it. Got the cream cheese, used all three packs. And put the sour cream in there. Mm-hmm, both sour cream packs. Your turn, buddy. He used like half the jar. So this is about Two thirds of the fish I smoked, I'll probably just break it up by hand, put it in here, and then I'll drop it in there. I guess we'll get to it pretty much. Just break it up into, you know, real, real broken up. Some of it right there. Another nice pile right there. D -d 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 Dump it. Mix that in there. We're gonna stir it up real nice. It looks kind of small on camera, but it's massive. I'm gonna mix this as free, as good as possible. We're throwing in the flag and using the mixer. This is... In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up a couple of celery sticks and finely dice these jalapenos. Jalapenos cut in half and the seeds removed, ready to be diced. Oh, and look at that. Well, that's how you make some nice creamy fish dip. Seasoning it up with some salt and pepper. We're gonna put the jalapeno in there. I'm gonna chop these up a little bit. I'm gonna maybe put four of those in there. Squeeze a half a lemon in there. Mmm. That'll help with flavor and preservation. Chopped up the celery and the jalapenos. And now I'm gonna chop up some cilantro. All right, cilantro, jalapeno, and uh, I already forgot the celery. <laughs> celery. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Now that's the party in there. We almost forgot the most important ingredients. Just a little bit of that. More Tabasco. Full speed! Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Mmm. That's pretty good. Whoa! 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 Oh man, this stuff looks and smells good. I have a big bowl of this stuff. I think we're gonna have to give the neighbors some. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty hefty amount, huh? Got some nice pieces of fish. 
dipped up. This is for Kevin, the captain. Got some for the neighbors. This is how you make friends. You share your fish dip. They also get some smoked fish. And we even get them a little cracker box. Ooh, wee. I'm like a little delivery boy delivering milk to all the neighbors. Only my milk is uh, more like smoked fish and fish dip. It'll make you just as strong as milk will. Neighbors are gonna be stoked. Look at me, I got my little milk. I'm a happy little boy right now. I just dropped one bag off to John and he's stoked. Got one bag left, I'm gonna drop that off right now. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something about smoking fish. I know I did. And I'm gonna, after I drop this off, I'm gonna go home, eat the rest of that fish dip. All right, thank you for watching. There we go. <laughs>